I'm Cheyenne from cleanearthbouquets.org. Please join us to protect what you love. Oceans, parks, butterflies, clean air, clean water, climate and health all need your protection. Clean air, clean water, and a clean future are human rights. At Clean Earth for Kids, we have six teams. Social, racial, climate, and environmental justice are foundational to all we do. Racial justice is environmental justice. Did you know that 68% of African Americans live within 30 miles from a coal-fired power plant? Coal power plants and factories are burning fossil fuels and creating more pollution in the air, water, and harming people. Think about a company dumping pollution into a river where people drink. Think about all the cost of the doctor appointments those uh, patients would have to pay in the the medicines because of that pollution. Uh, Sick workers and people are a drain on the economy, among any other things. I'm Kevin. I'm the poet of Clean It For Kids. You can check out my poems on our website, cleanitforkids.org. I am currently working on getting the coal plant that's on our school's campus shut down because there are vulnerable neighborhoods that surround it. We all need clean air to survive. We all need clean water to live. What can we do to help our communities of concern? We need to build parks and plant trees for clean air and shade. Trees are amazing. Trees cool off our neighborhoods and parks, provide homes for birds, and clean our air and water. Please join us at Clean for Kids Org to save our trees, neighborhoods, public lands, air, water, and our future. We also need to identify and stop sources of pollution, and we must work together. Equity comes from having racial, social, and environmental justice. Alicia, would you like to talk about equity more? Yes, thank you, Elijah. Equity is making sure people have what they need to survive in advance. Equity is providing funding funding for low-income communities to have clean air, clean water, and safe places for kids to play and learn. Equity leads to advancement. When you have what you need, then you can advance. The NAACP and Clean Earth for Kids have given me many opportunities for advancement. With advancement comes many things. For example, knowledge. Knowledge is power. Clean for Kids has many resources on our websites to use. We have a free climate action plan that you guys can view underneath Team 1 on our website, cleanforkids.org. Soil is home to tiny organisms called microbes, which absorb water and digest nutrients. We need these soil microbes to help plants grow and to absorb the carbon dioxide that we create with cars, power plants, and factories. Sadly, plant poisons called pesticides are harming the soil and making it harder for these tiny organisms to survive. Hi, I am Naeem Miller with Clean Earth for Kids. We are trying to stop toxic pesticides since they affect our body, leading from lung problems to cancer. So because I come from the Coachella Valley um, and my parents' career with uh, farm work, I kind of join Clean Earth for Kids to try to spread awareness about pesticides and trying to eliminate them, especially for groups like farm workers that are exposed to those uh, 24-7. So my kind of goal is to advocate for the health and well-being of farm workers and just contribute to the environmental aspect of it. Um, My mom has kind of developed like respiratory issues because of all the spraying of pesticides. So it's definitely... It hits home personally to me. It's actually a very personal um, situation that I have to... A lot of the people that live there are tend to be Hispanic too. So I feel like that's just a huge issue when it comes to like the environmental and government aspect that a lot of the communities have to suffer and um, the kind of like these local governments aren't doing much to kind of address the people that are living there and all like the kids, you know, they're kind of probably developing a lot of more respiratory diseases. I'm working on multiple projects currently, one of them being a film about um, farm workers and the pesticides they're exposed to within their jobs and how toxic those pesticides are on human beings. Another project that I'm working on currently is a film about PACPA, um, which is Protect America's Children from Toxic Pesticides Act. Why pesticides are really important for me is because it impacts like everything, like down to the molecules in your body and it impacts like all of life. Like We're currently working on trying to ban toxic pesticides from schools and from cities and we are also working on putting up no idling signs around schools and communities to get our community members to participate in caring for our air and caring for our environment. Thank you.
Hello, my name is Judith and I'm a youth bard artist at Clean Earth for Kids. Creating art means a lot to me because it can reach the hearts of many, can educate others, and even bring a call to action. If you go to our contest page at cleanearthforkids.org, you'll see a variety of contests like art, music, writing, poetry, dance, STEM, STEM projects, um, infographics, presentations, and more. I have um, an organic garden. I grow food and trying to show people that even if you live in the city, you can still be sustainable. You can grow your own food and um, it's easy. Teaching about the earth and so thanks for being a part of this. Clean earth for kids and water is life. My name is Yusef Miller. I'm with the North County San Diego NAACP and Clean Earth for Kids as well as the North County Equity and Justice Coalition. There is no plan B. There is no earth bee, and the clean earth for kids understand this. This is why they are a huge part of this solution. They educate the layperson, the teacher, the politician, who have you. They educate them and bring them closer to the understanding that we need to change laws for the earth, to make new laws for the earth, and to collaborate for the earth. I am so proud of each and every one of you. Keep up the great work. Save our environment. We're cleaning up for kids and we're here to say we got six great things that we can save the day. We have renewable energy so we can stop all this pollution and greenhouse gases that our cars are producing. We have climate action plans so we can plan to help save our earth without the help of this bad synthetic turf. Thank you so much from cleanearthforkids.org.